He is going to come through time and time again. He is going to come through. He's going to come through for that house. He's going to come through with your finances. He is going to come through because that is who he is. And that is what his word says. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's been some time. You okay? <coughs> so Buki is feeling a bit sick today. Um, so today is Sunday and we have some things planned today. We are um, going to the beach for a little bit and then we are gonna go look at a house today. So I will bring you guys along for the road or for this journey. Um, yeah guys, there has been so much going on lately <coughs> and I've been just trying to get my life together so I have not been able to vlog because it's just been a lot, a whole lot. But I'm back and I'm better than ever. These are like summer essentials. I completely forgot about it until I went to the store the other day and I saw that and I'm like, how could I forget these? These are so fire. So, yeah. It's really hot in this car. I don't know if I, I told you guys, but my car literally sucks. There's no AC. No anything. And it sounds crazy when I turn it on. Watch. I don't know if you're able to hear it, but it goes... So, we make it do what it do. It gets us from point A to point B, right? I need you to start driving. Oh, man. Alright, I'll see you guys at the beach. So, <gasps> oh my god. Oh. We just pulled up to the beach. My camera's about to die. I don't know how that happened. So, I might have to get footage on my phone. But, we before we go in there, I'm just going to pop in my contacts, hopefully. The last time just I go without the content. Why are you rushing me? Because it's hot. Okay, well you gotta wait a second. I wanna be able to wear my shades. You lucky I'm even here. <laughs> he didn't want to come so bad. Okay, so it's folding like a taco, so that means it's the wrong way. So we're gonna do it the other way. And it bounced back. It's not a taco, so here we go. <sighs> Ow! Weber. Weber. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Oh my You said to me that you should listen to everything I say. <laughs> and you didn't. And what happened? Bro, that burned so bad. You said to me today. I did. I was gonna listen to everything I said. I you about to still do it? I mean, it's fine now. She said it cost me the boss. No pain, no gain. <gasps> that freaking. <laughs> Why they don't look wet? Like, why they all look dry? <laughs> oh my god. Should you not be putting on a solution first? I don't have a solution on me. So oh, this one burns. It's had. Okay. Ow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I can wear the shades. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Sorry. I don't... You know what? I've come to the conclusion that my videos will never be aesthetically pleasing and it is what it is like either you watch me or you don't you know what I'm saying like I've never been the type of girl to fit in or follow trends you're a renegade what are you a renegade I guess whatever that means I've never been that you don't know yeah. what a renegade you don't know what a renegade means no wow Anywho. You just described a renegade when you say you've never been like Well, I'm a renegade, I guess. You go against 
against what other people think or do. Well, I'm a renegade. And it's, it's to the point now where it's like I can't keep forcing something. Oh, wait, look, I, so one of my students got me this bag, G for Graham. Good morning guys. It is Monday morning and I'm about to head out to work. I am doing pretty good at time. It's 7.55. I have to be there by 9 o'clock and surprisingly traffic looks good. It's showing 27 minutes so I love that for me. Oh, guys, I'm tired today. It was so hard to wake up. I've been trying to get up at like 6.30 but like it hasn't been working because I just... I feel like when I start my day with the Lord, it it makes a huge difference than when I end the day. But it's just so hard. And like during the school year, it's gonna be even harder because I have to be there even earlier, an hour earlier, eight o'clock. So, yeah. But anywho, I'm about to go to the gas station to grab a gallon of water because I drink all my gallons this weekend <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna go grab a bagel and then I will probably talk to you guys after work maybe I'll like pop in to say hi during work I don't know, I don't know. I'm, like, I'm just trying to get through my day um, but I will for sure talk to you guys after work so let's get it let's pray oh my god and like Vaughn on Friday I wasn't with him and today he usually brings me to work every day, and today he's not bringing me because he has stuff to handle. And I'm like, I'm not used to being by myself. But let's pray. Let's pray. Father God, would you please, first of all, thank you for waking me up. Thank you for waking up my people on the other end of the screen. Um, I thank you for this beautiful day. I thank you for your new mercies. And I thank you that you are a God who can do the exceedingly and abundantly above all that i can ask think or imagine not just for me but my family as well so i just thank you in advance for what you're going to be doing god for the doors you're going to open for the things that you're going to be doing in our lives and through our lives so i just thank you lord for all things and i just ask that as i travel to work that you give me traveling mercies give anybody who's traveling traveling mercies and help us to get there safe get from point a to point b Safely, we pray all of this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all. Bagels with butter have been my thing lately. So I'm about to indulge in that. Thank you, Jesus, for this. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I feel like there's so much we have to catch up on so I'm 20 minutes early and I know my camera kept dying so many times yesterday so I have to make sure like I charge it before I start recording every day but y'all yeah, like like I was saying yesterday we're in the basement everything is like, going okay then the basement floods then we are like pretty much like sleeping in the living room and then um, that wasn't working because like girl was hot so then we like took over my sister's room with two dogs and us our clothes are like it's just a mess y'all like we had to move our clothes from like our room in the closet in the basement to the living room in the basement so it's like everywhere so now what we have to do is start we bought like bins so we have to put all our clothes in bins um because it just looks a hot mess down there so we have like some of our clothes downstairs some of our clothes upstairs and it's just like 
once the school year starts and stuff, like, I just need, like, a routine. And even for my sister, like, I don't want to be in her room. Like, she needs her own routine, too. And her own space. So, like, I am just praying. And I am just, like, waiting for the Lord to open up some doors. Because, y'all, this isn't going to good for much longer. And granted, I'm thankful for my parents for them, like, letting us stay there and letting us, like, you know, do our thing. However... It ain't given <laughs> anymore. So, that's our life for y'all. It's a bit of a struggle. And then, like, y'all, I'd be, like, the last couple of weeks, or the last month, really, I have not picked up my, my camera. But I've been just, like, trying to survive. Like, life comes at you sometimes. <laughs> and, like... It'd be hard out here. You know. And I'd be tired. So, there's a lot that's been going on. Also, I ended up getting the palette expander. Which, y'all, I thought it was going to be terrible. TikTok definitely played me. It's not bad at all. The only annoying thing is, like, food gets stuck up there. So, you have to go, like, wait. It doesn't always work, but it just worked just now to get the food out. So that's freaking annoying. But overall, not a bad experience. The spacers, the little rubber band things, those freaking crabs hurt so dang bad. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's that. I'm about to finish this up. And go inside, work from 9 to 1 real quick. And hype myself up. And I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, girly it is later on today and when i got home girl i used some noodles and some potatoes not weird mad like different things and i took a nap i'm like looking at myself i took a nap y'all might hear the uh, show suits in the background because my husband literally watches everything on volume a thousand so i hope you can hear me but i just got up I'm going to clean up because if y'all saw this kitchen, y'all be like, girl, get tired. So I'm going to clean up and then um, I'm going to study because I told myself, like, girl, you are the one in control. Okay? Like, yes, God will help you, but you got to take that step and help yourself first. So I was super close, my bad. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to study a bit for at least an hour. So, um, let's get some cleaning first because done. Let's get some cleaning done first because I cannot clean up in a messy environment. Like, that's just never been my thing. So, are you ready to clean up with me? Do you have a mess? Because if you do, let's clean up together. Here we go. <laughs> I'm 
then kill so far. Had a chat of moto, on Toyota Corolla. My feelings been this swing like Django Loba. Feelings been this swing like Django Loba. Now you crash your Ferrari for leg like bona. Now so much you remain with that pain all over. My feelings did this swing like Django Loba. Feelings did this swing like Tim 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 Bani Kachu, Achu. Come on, why do you feel this soon? Why you say I did? Good morning, y'all. So, it's Tuesday morning, and oh my god, the traffic went up, and I am about to leave for work. Um, hold on, I'm about to stand. I am about to leave for work, y'all. Literally last night after we talked, I was legit, like, so stressed with just all this testing I have to do, and you know buying a house and location and just like so much it literally shuts me out but i spent time with the lord and i just felt like god was like like i know what you need to stop stressing you know so i'm about to head out for work today oh it looks like the fridge is open Today, um, I scheduled one of the Spanish tests um, after work, and then um, all my tests are going to be this week. So I have the Spanish speaking test, I think, today, then tomorrow, the Spanish writing test, and then on Saturday, the math test that I've taken like four times. So I have all that to do this week, and as I was spending time with God, I'm just like, Lord, no matter what happens... No matter what score I get, you know what I need. You are in control of all things, so I'm just going to have to trust in you. And I've been feeling like for a month now that like God is bringing us into a season where it's like trust. Like the circumstances may not, you know, um, look like it's going to work out, but like trust in me. And, you know, you always hear people talk about that, but then to actually live it out, it's like... <laughs> Lord, I feel like I'm fighting for my life, <laughs> but it's all right. We're here. I'm about to head out because it says 42 minutes, and I need to stop and get breakfast. So I will talk to you guys later on when I get out of work. Deuces. Oh, uh, girl. So it's later on today, and I'm home from work. Hold on, me. I was. Like, I should do this before I start filming. Anywho, so I'm home from work and it is 2.21 and I take my test at 3.30, but I'm going to log in at 3 just to make sure that like, you know, everything's fine. And I'm just like so freaking stressed, y'all. The other day I had to tell myself like, girl, any profession, like any career, you kind of have to take like a certification test or a license test. Like you have to do something. So like... You know that's that so i'm just like watching all these videos to see what to expect because i just don't know what to expect and it's just it's just driving me crazy but i already have been feeling like god is just like trusting me whether i pass or not like trust in me so that that i'll lead you that i'll guide you that i'll provide for you you know so I'm trusting that no matter what happens, he's going to do his thing. Because this test that I'm taking today, I, you can only take it like every 90 days. So, that's that. I need a pickle. <laughs> These pickles. If you aren't eating garlic dill pickles, girl, get your life. I've had this my third one already. They are so juicy. Watch. <laughs> They're so fire. I just can't wait <laughs> so this part of my life is over like i can't wait to be settled settled in a home settled completely settled with like my career just settled what is it od if i was to drink the pickle juice because this is not fire i feel like when you're just so settled and you're so comfortable i can't really produce anything in you so like he's doing something like 
y'all i finished like i said earlier i'm not gonna stress it if this is for me it's just if this is the career path for me like god is god is gonna make a way where there seems to be no way y'all so i'm about to go Vaughn's picking me up I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna relax because I said I'm, I'm gonna give it to God. It is what it is. So I'm gonna talk to y'all in a little bit. Hey guys. That test literally gave me the worst headache that I have not recovered from. But I'm gonna make some salmon for Vaughn and some um, vegetables and then I'm going to sleep. It's 8. 30 so it's about that time anyway but i'm fighting for my life <laughs> this is my brother you know go follow black world what's up buying and selling the moves <laughs> y'all so remember how i cleaned up the kitchen yesterday yeah like why do i try anymore why do i try all right, so I figured that I would show you guys how I make this salmon. So here's the salmon. He usually get, he got basically like two pounds. And listen here, that's the way to go because when you go to restaurants, they don't even give you a pound, and they're charging you twenty five dollars for salmon. So go get your own salmon and make it yourself, Wookie. So here's our salmon. We unravel it. You put hot water on the back if you don't like the um whatever this is called, the spin. So it kills off easily. Check this off somehow. Guess what happened? So, 
you guys remember how yesterday hello by the way sorry i was not in the mood all day today like i, I had a bad attitude literally all day and it's four o'clock and it's wednesday girl my camera had no memory but so i had an attitude all day today so i'm like i'm not gonna come up here with the negative vibes like it just wasn't it wasn't it so remember how yesterday i told you guys i took that test girl i failed it so <laughs> i literally got the results at 2 30 in the morning well, and when i woke yeah, up so um unless of course you want to withdraw your complaint you'd be having the volume I'm on a thousand okay so i needed i needed advanced low i got intermediate high so i literally could not sleep the whole rest of the night like i was so stressed like my mind was wondering like god what am i gonna do like literally my journal entries were like lord help me like i <laughs> i have been so stressed because yeah yeah i talked to my boss today and the extent they basically i can extend like the the permit thingy that allows me to like not be certified or get my certification while i'm teaching and when i tell you the lord works wonders because today i was checking my email from when they like originally gave me the the permit thing and it said that it couldn't be renewed and then when i talked to my boss she's like uh it can't. so it was like oh. Like if that doesn't give, I sought the Lord and he answered, he heard and he answered me. I don't know what does. So it got extended. So I'm good for another year. I'm going to have my stuff done before that year is over. But literally, oh, I can breathe y'all. Like when I tell you I was shook, I was shook. So that's good news. I'm still taking the test on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> The good thing is I have a year to take it. So I'm going to email all the people that I need to email to make sure that gets done. And then, yeah. So that's that with me. What's up with you? Comment down below. Let me know what's up with you. that i would talk to you guys later on but i am just like wow <laughs> like god my god is truly something else y'all like honestly i know it, it sounds so cliche like it really does like when people say like you know don't stress like god's got it don't wor like literally don't worry like his word literally says don't worry and we do it anyway we do it anyway. And every single time he comes through. Like that's just what he does. That's who he is. And this situation with like work and everything, like that just showed me like, girl, don't stress. Like I know that it seems like it's impossible. I know what it seems like, but who am I? Like, y'all. Yeah. And it's those moments where he comes through and you're just like, Lord, like, <laughs> thank you. Because it's it be so hard not to stress, but in any situation, he's going to come through. And even if he didn't come through in the way that I expected him to, he was going to come through another way. Like, that's just who he is. So I just want to, like, give an encouragement to you, whoever is watching this. Oh, sorry. Whoever's watching this, God can do it. He will do it for you. I don't know what that looks like for you, but he is the God of the impossible. He is a God who knows what we need. The last few months, Matthew 6, verse 25 to 33, has literally been like what has kept me. Just the fact that he knows what we need. He knows when we need it. He takes care, girl. He takes care of the lilies, the birds, the trees. He takes care of these things, guys. He takes care of it. How much more will he take care of us? Like, just like let that sit for a second. Like, 
He takes care of the birds, the trees, the lilies, the flowers. He takes care of all those things. And they don't worry. So how much more us? How much more me? How much more me? He's going to come through. He is going to come through time and time again. He is going to come through. He's going to come through for that house. He's going to come through with your finances. He is going to come through because that is who he is. And that is what his word says. And I know that it's hard to, you know, it's hard to be consistent with him. It's hard to pray sometimes. But we need to declare the word over ourselves. It doesn't have to be you know, looking pretty. You don't have to have a nice setup. Like sometimes it could be just driving. It could be in the bed. Like God, your word says this. So I declare over my life. I declare over my family. I declare over my friends. I declare over my students because it's your word and your word will not return back void. Y'all don't get me to go in. <laughs> don't get me to go in. And it's through these moments where we feel like the world is literally ending is when he's like mm, got him <laughs> and it's just like ah, why you do that <laughs> i'm so weak like lord why you have to do that like why couldn't you do that to begin with <laughs> but it's like that's how we build you know our faith that's how these testimonies come about you know what i'm saying like and there are still things that i am praying and believing god for and like i said even if he doesn't do it how i imagine him to it's gonna be done regardless because that's just who he is like he said i'm gonna be a lender and not a borrower borrow bar borrow bar lord borrower borrow borrower I will be a lender <laughs> like he's gonna bless everything that i touch because why that's what his word says that is what his word says so i declare it over me i declare it over you i declare it over my family i declare it over all these things god because your word and your word will not come back void in the name of jesus amen Woo! he got me fired up that is so good, yeah. <laughs> I've been talking a lot this vlog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's just gonna come through every single time. Okay, so anyway. <sighs> this is that God, like that God positivity. This is what he does. Whew. Mm. Jesus. Every time I talk to you, I'll be sitting right here at this table. Like, please forgive me. I promise. Nope, I don't promise that I have a life because I don't. But I'm going to give y'all more movement one day. Like, more of me doing things. I tried, okay? I tried with the whole um, me cleaning up thing. I tried to give y'all a little beach action. I tried, y'all. So, yeah. All right. I'm seriously going to go. I have stuff to do. <laughs> I have to study. So, yeah, people. Talk to you soon. Hey, girl. It is Thursday. And look at what I got. Woo, yes, I did. So, it's like 6 o'clock right now. Girl, when I got home from work, we were slumped. Like, Mavon and the dogs were knocked out on the couch. Then... I remembered that I ate all my pickles and for some reason like I really wanted some. So we went to the store and got a few things. Mm. Remember yesterday? I think I told you guys I took the writing test. Girl, I got the same score. I'm about to get into it because they are not going to keep taking all my money. Like that was like over $200. And this math test... Well, eating another one be OD. Huh? Well, being, eating another one be OD. No, eat whatever you want. Okay. I feel like my entire vlog, this entire weekly vlog, has been me sitting down talking. 
Hook you up with what? Red chili Okay. Red chili sauce, uh, sauce and pepper. Sauces and I'm playing. Yeah, because I was not doing all that. <laughs> so this is real life, y'all. This is what I look like 95% of the time. And I'm not ashamed about it because this is just what it is. I have not deconditioned my hair. And I have I have not to condition my hair in like a month, literally. I'd be tired. Like I literally get home from work and go to sleep. Like that's it. But um, I get home from work, I take a shower, and then I go to sleep. So don't judge me, y'all. I'm just, I'm just trying to survive out here. <laughs> but right now, I'm about to make my father a grilled cheese. So let me show you guys how to make the best girl choose. Let me wash my hands. A, B, C. <laughs> I've never given, I don't give aesthetic. And at this point I need to like, just like roll with who I am. <laughs> like, I've never been one of the girls who try to be anything else. It's just never been a part of my character. Okay, so I cut it into a square. And you need to make this square into five parts. Because... <clears throat> one, two, three. Uh-oh, it's giving four parts. Okay, so some like this. And let's cut one of them just like that. Okay, just like that. You see that? And then it's gonna get all brown and all crispy on your... Now, again, cut your butter into a square. Honestly, make it how you make it. Because I'd be a little bit worried if you don't know how to make a grilled cheese. Now we're gonna put our fire on medium-low. Now, one side, the side that's buttered. Oh no. <laughs> the side that's buttered. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold it. Uh oh, it fell off. It'll be fine. Then, you wanna take your cheese, your deli cheese. Get a deli cheese. Deli white American cheese. It just tastes better. And I like to use two slices for grilled cheese, but do as you please, Buki. That's that, and then I'm gonna take your other side and we're gonna put this facing up. Now we're gonna let it, you know, get all simmered for like a couple minutes. You know what I had for dinner today? I had those plantain chips for dinner. Cause girl, my taste buds are not giving what it needs to get at all, so. Tomorrow's my last day of work for two weeks. And then we go back to school. And I'm gonna take these next two weeks to just relax. I'm gonna be studying, but I'm gonna for sure relax. Like I might hit, hit up the beach, relax. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show y'all the grilled cheese, but after the grilled cheese, I'm going to shower and lay down because I'm starting to get a headache. I don't think I drank enough. Um, I don't think I drank enough water today. So my body is like feeling that right now. And I'm just so tired, like, yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh my god, why y'all ain't tell me? Okay, that's better. I'm so sorry, y'all. But, hold on, let me flip this. I asked if he wanted a pickle on the side, and guess what he already did. Mm. Now you can make it a little bit more crispy if you like, or you can leave it like that. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever floats the boat that you ride on. Are you already eating it? You're supposed to wait until it comes out. You could never be at my restaurant. You could never eat at my restaurant. Don't really pick it up first. Then. <laughs> Don't let the customers go eat the Go get the pickles. Like, what the heck? I can get that one though, too, now. Woo! So. 
it's Friday and I have a humongous headache. But she's about to write it over here. <laughs> so mean. But um, I have my test tomorrow, my math test. Yeah. Excuse me. You call it now. <laughs> So I'm over I'm here dying. studying for my math test. <laughs> I have four minutes left. Aww. Four minutes left of space <laughs> on my um, SIM card thing. But I just had to check in with y'all. Let y'all know what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm over here stressed with a headache. So I'm gonna talk to you guys tomorrow. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get this. this yeah. It's Saturday, and sorry, my camera's at home because um, I didn't have any storage but took my test failed it gonna try again in a month but um now we are looking at houses again and this one house we're looking at is an hour from my job fancy. mad fancy here Okay guys, we are back home and I know that I said I was gonna end this vlog um, while we were looking at the homes, but I have a, like four more minutes left of space on my thingy. So we're back home and so we are just moving in faith <laughs> and we um, bought totes and like all these things to put our stuff in and we don't have like a lot of things. I'm um, leaving the couches down there, just mainly like our clothes and stuff. So we bought totes um, to put all, put all our stuff in. So we're going to start packing right now, just moving the feet. <laughs> and, you know, because something, God's going to do something. <laughs> so um, I'm going to end this vlog here. And hopefully I can get this posted tomorrow. If not, then sometime this week. So thank you guys for watching this far. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.